You know, I don't know if y'all realize this shit or not, but the Republican Party is never going to admit to defeat in an election ever again. They still believe that the 2020 election was stolen. They believe the primaries are rigged against Trump now. They believe the 2024 election will be rigged against him. Hell, Donald Trump believed that the 2016 popular vote was rigged against him. He said that there's no way that many people voted for Hillary. That must have been undocumented workers and illegal immigrants. They had no evidence for that, but they made that claim, and they've got people out there that will believe it. Do you realize the level of arrogance it takes to say that the only way your side could ever lose would be that the system be rigged against you? Do you realize the level of arrogance it takes to believe that your ideas are so popular that no one could ever vote against it, that everyone would vote for you? Not only do they not understand how democracy works, actually they do. They understand how it works and they realize that their ideas aren't popular. They realize that they're never going to win on policy. So if they can figure out a way to demonize the system and make people believe that democracy doesn't really work, then they can step in and install the authoritarian dictator they want and everybody on their side will be cool with it because, hey, democracy didn't work for me. It wasn't that democracy didn't work for you. It's that your ideas weren't popular. When they overturned Roe versus Wade, did they not realize that that was going to piss a whole lot of people off? Did they not realize that that was going to inspire women to vote like never before? When they rule that the Supreme Court ruled that businesses could discriminate against people of the LGBTQ community, did they ever stop and think, hey, this may piss off a whole bunch of people that's going to want to rise up and vote? More and more young people are getting inspired to vote, and they're getting inspired to vote to the left. What does the right wing do to appeal to young voters? They say, well, we're going to raise the voting age. Any team that loses in history goes back to the drawing board. Any fighter that loses a fight goes back to the drawing board and says, what did I do wrong? If a team loses, they go back and they say, hey, should we work on our defense next time or work on our offense? Do we need to pass the ball some more? Do we need a new quarterback? Is he not getting the job done? Do we need a new head coach? Is he not getting the job done? Do we need to bring in some fresh faces and really – you know, freshen this team up and get people excited about us again? Do we need to get a new helmet? Do we need to get a flashy new uniform, anything? Do we need a new t-shirt? That's what normal people do when they lose. The Republican Party does none of that. They never stop to say, hey, maybe my ideas aren't popular. Maybe people are tired of the same old rhetoric. Maybe people are wanting something different. Maybe they're wanting something that's not us. Maybe, just maybe, we're losing because our ideas suck and because people cease through us, and because people does not want an authoritarian dictator to rule over this country. Maybe that's why we're losing, but they won't do it. Carrie Lake will always be out there pushing that the election was rigged. Mike Lindell is always going to be spreading his bullshit. Marjorie Taylor Greene says she is proud to say it. She's proud to say it, and there's nothing wrong. She says there's, there's nothing wrong with saying it. There's nothing wrong with saying you believe the election was stolen. You can believe anything you want to, okay? I can believe that that bananas have electricity in them, okay? I, I can believe that I can plug a banana into the wall and that it will light up my entire house, but it's never going to happen. I'm, I'm free to believe it, though. I can believe it all day long, but it's not factual. It's never going to happen. There was no evidence that the 2020 election was rigged. And as far as the primaries now with the states kicking Trump off the ballot, they're following the Constitution that the Republicans love to stand upon every day. But we, as with the Bible and anything else, if it speaks against them, they don't want nothing to do with it. They say out loud, we don't want to support the Constitution. President Trump didn't take an oath to support it. And they wonder why their ideas are unpopular. They wonder why people are voting against them. They wonder why that big red wave that they've been saying is coming hasn't came yet. It's because people don't like your ideas. It's got nothing to do with the system being rigged against you. But if they get enough people, again, if they get enough people believing democracy is bad and believing democracy doesn't work for them, then they can convince them to let us take control of everything and we'll protect you and then you end up with the dictator that your grandfather's generation fought so hard to stop from happening on this soil. 
I don't let people off the hook when they say they're cool with dictators. I don't let people off the hook when they praise dictators. I don't let people off the hook when they say, well, maybe we don't need democracy. I don't let people off the hook for that, and there's no two sides arguments with that with me. We can have debates all day long about issues. There's, there's, there's black, there's white, there's gray, there's in between, but not when it comes to democracy. And that's what these Republicans are trying so hard to strip away. That's why they're never going to admit to defeat again. There's never going to be that moment where they come out and go, okay, the American people have spoken. We lost. We got to figure out a new way to resonate with voters. They're not going to do that because they know what they want to accomplish. And they're going to double down on those things. They're going to keep doubling down on those things until they install the authoritarian leadership they want. And then democracy is gone. And whenever we bring it up and say, hey, I sure do miss those days, people say, well, it never worked for us to start with. That's because they are playing in on this narrative. It's them that's pushing the fake news narrative because they are always projecting. Every, every accusation with them is a confession. Them saying that the left is trying to take away your democracy and Joe Biden's trying to be a dictator, that is projection because they're going for it, folks. They're saying it out loud, and they've said it out loud long enough that now they've got people on their side saying, yeah, we're cool with dictators. Well, we're not over here on our side, and we're going to keep voting. And they're going to keep losing. But they'll never believe it because they've convinced the flock otherwise.